Well, here we are in our blind setup for a youth hunt. It's the Wednesday before turkey season 2014 for the youth hunt day. It's March 19th. It's been overcast for about two to three weeks now. It's been overcast. Uh, just saw started seeing turkeys this past week. So got two reports this past week on a farm out in Cannon County that <clears throat> people are seeing turkeys. And then got a report this week that there were about 30 turkeys out in this field. Uh, yesterday so just excited about the advent of turkey season been getting prepared all spring and you know what it's gonna be a good season hey folks welcome into another edition of urban hunting today we're gonna take a young man on his first turkey hunt it's a youth hunt and we're using the 20 gauge load by Spectre Shot and Christian actually harvest on this hunt the first gobbler harvested with our new 20 gauge load. So stay with us and check Christian out in action. Well here we are opening morning of the 2014 turkey season. It's youth turkey hunt. And, uh, Christian back here with me. Christian, what do you think about the morning? It was a uh, good time to sleep. <laughs> He's been, Christian's been taking a nap, but I can't blame him. Turkeys hadn't been moving, we hadn't heard any gobble yet, but we're fixing to get after them, so uh, stay with us. Let's hunt some turkeys.
Well, Christian, it was an interesting morning, wasn't it? It was. And, uh, you know, last year we uh, we heard gobbles and didn't see turkeys. <laughs> this year. This year we saw plenty of turkeys. <laughs> heard no gobbles. We hadn't heard a gobble yet. We've been doing some urban hunting this morning. Yeah. And uh, we got out and did some running and gunning, but we had a great blind, great setup. It was supposed to rain, but we dodged the rain and been simply spot sun. You want to do that? Yeah. Let's go, man. It's been another great day, Ed. Yeah. All right. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back. Personal camera, buddy. Don't go in the woods without it. That's what we need. This thing comes on here. Take the strap it on. Take your camera, mount your camera on it. Put it down for travel. Put it like that to get your turkey vest on. Ready to hunt. Let's go. Me and Christian just busted about 30 turkeys. So we're set up and we're going to see if we can uh, get a couple of them called back in. That was a uh, pretty watch them fly, but boy, we got right on top of them, didn't we? Let's see if we can get one. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh man, great shot, great shot. All right, let's go get him.
Hey, man, you talking about <laughs> excited. I got a little pumped up, didn't I? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> That's the first thing Christian said. He said, I think I think you're more excited than I am about killing this bird. But I'm going to tell you what, to get in on that bird, like the work we did to get in on it, to be able to uh, low crawl, get in behind that berm, get Christian in position to get a shot. And then we couldn't, we had this huge gobbler hung up that wouldn't come in, but we started purring and what happened? Yeah, we just got in. Uh, he wouldn't come in at all, the big gobbler. He had a bunch of hens around him, and we kept on calling, but he was too occupied. But Jake decided he wanted some action, so he came up by the hill. He came in about 10 yards, started to run away. I got him on I got him on the run, though, with a shot. It was pretty good, though. Might, might Mr. Scott, the... <laughs> Mr. Scott got pretty excited about it. Man, I get pumped up when we harvest birds, I'm telling you, because it was just awesome. It was just electric to be able to start purring and see that Jake come in on a string. And Christian couldn't see him. I was waiting for him to shoot him. He never could see him. Finally, when I said, shoot him, shoot him. And then the bird came out behind the tree going the other way. And he made a heck of a shot on it. Put him down with 20-gauge specter shot. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was my first kill. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, I tell you what, not only was that exciting for Christian, but it was exciting for me to be able to call that guy Moran where he could harvest him and experience that with that young man. But then a couple of weeks later, we had a chance to do another turkey hunt. <laughs> and you talk talking about some things that go wrong in the turkey woods. Check this hunt out. Well, man, we were easing along, running and gunning this morning. And, you know, when you come up to a rise, rather than just walking lolly lol over the rise, what I like to do is I like to kind of squat down and kind of ease up over the rise and then stop and gently ease up so I could see. And I had gotten behind a, behind a tree and I was easing up looking, and I saw a turkey at about 75 yards. Now, he was just he was standing on full alert, but he didn't spook. So I just eased back down, and we got set up and went over there and started clucking and got all to Shoot him now, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. You missed him, you missed him. Don't worry about it, you missed him, that's all right. That's all right, man. You got a shot at him, huh? Huh? Yeah. Boy, he came right in, didn't he? Yeah. Huh? I said, yeah, dang it. Huh. All right. Well, we got him in, gun. didn't we? Huh? I didn't get my gun up in time. Did you see him when he came over or what? I did. I was waiting for you to tell me when to shoot him. I should have got my gun up earlier. What's that? I should have got my gun up earlier, though. Yeah, any time like that you see one, like he's, I didn't hear him until he started clucking. I didn't see him. Oh, I thought you'd seen him. No, I, I didn't see him. I didn't even know he was in. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. But you saw him, huh? Yeah. How long had you seen him? A couple seconds. A couple seconds. See, he got nervous when he came over that hill, didn't he? Hear him clucking? Yeah, he did. And, uh, but that's all right, man. Folks, right here is another one of our sponsors, the Gobbler Gauge. The Gobbler Gauge is a neat little tool. It's kind of like Spectre Shot. Instead of telling lies, you can actually show what's going on. And so the Gobbler Gauge measures the spurs as well as the beard. And what you do is you just push it in, detent it, and it measures three quarters of an inch is the spur. So this is about a two and a half year old bird. You just take the Gobbler Gauge, depress it, and it gives you an exact measurement on every bird. On the beard, we get the turkey, and the cap opens on the gobbler gauge. It pops open, and it, the tape comes out. Hold the tape at the base of the beard, and then run the beard out over the tape. And this bird has a seven and a half inch beard. You get your measurements in the field, and then it just falls right back up and closes right back up in the gobbler gauge. No more lying about turkeys. You can get it on film. You, all your buddies can measure it, and you know exactly how long the spurs are and how long the beard are. Man, that was pretty intense right there. Christian and I were easing up, and we were looking, trying to cut some birds, and I ended up seeing one just over the crest of a ridge. About I, I bet that bird wasn't 75 yards from us, but I saw him before he saw me, and we dropped back in this little ridge of cedars and set up. Christian, take us from there. Well, uh, I was just sitting here, and uh, Mr. Scott called it in for a little while, and he was sitting right behind me. He had to adjust his position. There was a cedar right here, 
and he came up right over the hill and I thought he was having me wait for some reason because he told me he'd tell me when to shoot and so I just sat there and the bird sat there for a while and I think he saw me and started clocking and that's when Mr. Scott saw him and he looked right at the bird and he was like oh now shoot him and the bird was already starting to run away and so I, I shot at him but I missed right over his head and he flew away yeah, yeah so we'll put that one on me because uh, we've been on birds all morning and uh, you know videotaping the hunts and being able to get everything captured on tape you got to make sure that the birds in the picture everything's got to be just right and I did have to readjust where I could get comfortable and I got all the cameras set up but you know I just couldn't see the bird and Chris you could see him evidently he was sitting there watching him but until the bird clucked I didn't know the bird was even over the hill and I started trying to locate him and then all of a sudden I located the bird and I'm like man that kill that bird kill him <laughs> he's within about 15 yards but because I didn't see him at the right time Christian was waiting for me to tell him to say to shoot the bird. It just worked out that way. But you know what? Pretty intense hunt, it was though, wasn't it? Pretty fun hunt. Yeah. Pretty fun hunt, because uh, I tell you what, to get one in that close, you know, you don't always kill when you hunt, but that's why you hunt. You get out there. We got out here. It's a beautiful morning this morning. We were able to get up and down these hills, and uh, we had a good time so far, hadn't we? Yeah, I'm still early too. Yeah, you know, and we had we've had birds on us all morning, so we've had a chance to shoot. Uh, I could have killed one earlier, but I was waiting for Christian to get a shot. He didn't quite get in close enough for him to get a shot. And then he got a shot on this one, and he was waiting for me to tell him to shoot, and it just didn't work. So maybe we'll get on the third bird, and it'll work. What do you think? Yes, third time's the charm. Well, let's try to get on this third one. Stay with us, folks. Don't go anywhere. Be right back with UrbanHunting.net. I tell you, I don't know if we could have had a better hunt this morning, man. We saw no. birds all morning, didn't we? The only thing we could have done to make it better is shoot one. Was shoot one, yeah. And, you know, we did have uh, a number of birds come in. It was a good setup this morning. We got in early, got in on time. But let's talk about a couple of our sponsors this morning. You were hunting with a 20-gauge Stevens double-barrel shotgun, and I'm hunting with a 12-gauge Stevens double-barrel shotgun. And Christian is using the new 20-gauge 3-inch Magnum number 6 shot White Lightning Load by Spectre Shot. And uh, you killed a bird with it. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome stuff, huh? Yeah. Here we go. I'm hunting with a White Lightning Load by Spectre Shot. It's 12 gauge, three inch magnum, number six shot. And I've killed two turkeys with it already this year. I killed a nice mature gobbler. And then I harvested a uh, young Jake uh, about two weeks ago. And so that's what we were hunting with this morning. So we're hunting with a Copper Top by Rocky Top Game Calls. Give them a look up on the internet. Hey folks, the next video you're going to see is we call it the 2 p.m. turkey. Now, you can't harvest a turkey sitting on the couch in the living room. So we want you to get up and get out in the woods that God's created.
You know, that's the difference, man. I tell you what, what a fine bird. That is going to be some good eating. And this double barrel Stevens shotgun has put the hammer down on three toms now this year. Now, this is not a huge bird, but I have worked for this bird. I started this morning. I've seen turkeys all day, haven't been able to get them to answer. Been on a slip spot and stalk, and I got up within about 15 yards of these birds. And when I first heard them, they clucked. And I had a chance to take a shot, knew it was a gobbler. They were both about the same size, and I decided to take this one. And I am tickled to death. This is tag number three for urbanhunting.net. For the finest in wild turkey and waterfowl choke tubes, it's Indian Creek Shooting Systems. Thousands of successful hunts and many still shot titles. At IndianCreekSS.com. Shot this pattern with the uh, Indian Creek 665 and the six uh, shot Spectre shot. Um, said it's a 665 constriction and that was a 30 yard target. And you can see there it just destroyed it. So. Spectre shot, white lightning turkey loads, the official turkey hunting ammunition of eyes on the outdoor. Indian Creek shooting systems. These are actual wads that we picked up off the range after we just sighted in our turkey guns. And uh, if you look at the choke tube, it's got 30 parallel ports. That porting is designed to retard the wad. So if you look at this wad real close, you can see 30 formed grooves in that wad. That's proof positive that is actually putting the brakes. When it comes through here, it's retarding that wad just so slightly. It gives you the patterns that you just seen from the other fellers. Uh, shotgun whenever they were sighting it. You know, it says a lot about coming in a different direction. I came in a different direction for this area and uh, got in here on top of these birds and man, I tell you what, it has been exciting. It's a heck of a day. You know, I almost didn't come. I was like, you know, I've hunted all morning. It's about two o'clock. I've seen birds, but you know, I thought, I said, you know, it's just like when I was other jobs I've had. If you're not out doing it, it's not gonna happen. And you know, I'm not gonna kill one at home. And so I said, you know what? I'm gonna give this a shot this afternoon. I know where these birds have been hanging out about two or three o'clock in the afternoon. Let me see if I can get in there on them. And you know what? I got in here on them and I got me a nice gobbler. Stay with us, urbanhunting.net. Thanks, folks, for joining joining us. I hope you enjoyed it. And we want you to send us some pictures of your great hunts. You know, urbanhunting.net is our website. If you'd do that for us, we would love to see you. Stay with me. This is Scott Davis with urbanhunting.net.